Welcome to the 650 subscriber JT Q&A special. Here we've got, sort of, um, I'll just check this here. I've got look, the questions written down on a bit of paper and somehow stuff. And, oh, that's my HMV on, by the way. Um, or train spawn and do the paper. Oh, but anyway, I've got the actual, that's my train set that will be that. Uh, when was this paper? Um, don't tell me, I've lost it. Oh wait, no, did it? Um, this is where we have to be starting. It's, yeah, too much stuff on the spot. Here we go! And uh, there we go, uh, there we go, 650 subscriber, Q and A special, right. So the first question is by a guy called Jack. Do you think the modernised blocks look good with the updated cladding etc? Or are you more into the original look? Let's be honest, right, this thing's getting me on fucking much. Let's be honest with that, that question. I prefer the original look. Because see if they add the cladding. Yeah, it keeps the block looking more modern, but well, makes it more of a fire risk, as you might know with Grenfell Tower and all that. And because of that reason, loads of tower blocks are being demolished. Look out for the likes of Air and Irvin. That exact reason has caused them to pretty much go. So, with that question, I prefer the original look. Kind of a bit like Mitchell Way here, but you can see what I'd say right now. So that answers the first question. The second question is from a YouTube user called Yamster. If you were to live in a tower block, do you want to be the lower floors or the upper floors? Well, let's be honest, that's quite an easy question. Of course I prefer to be up the top, because that way you get less traffic noise and, of course, an epic view. The only downside to that is you've got to get the lift all the way up to the top of the tower, which, if you're old out, can be a wee bit more annoying, or if you get shopping, or streetlights, in my opinion, and that fucking flies getting up there. But aye, for that one, of course I prefer the top floors. Three, Lady the Wise Mark. What? What's that say? I can't really see that. What is your most favourite tower block you have explored? Well, it's between two. Between two tower blocks. It's between 305 and 341 Caledonia Road. I class them as one because it's got a building like not to the two blocks. And of course, how Craig's go up. And most of my memories I've had, and that's what got me into that was, like this way. That's what made me fall in love with exploring empty tower blocks. With those three blocks at Yoka. But yeah, for that one, how to Craig's core or 305 and 341 Caledonia Road. For Patchy, what is the tallest tower block you've been to the roof of? Answer that is Allen Tower in Motherwell. That is 19 floors high, and I was on the roof right as much, so um, you can't really see it out here. That is, though, the tallest tower block I've ever, I've ever been up that's abandoned. Uh, let's answer that one. Number five, Scottish train spotting. Can you do the flats in, I can't even pronounce this right, Adelaide, Adelaide, or just the, the Gormals, also known as Waddle Court, yes. I will be doing videos in those, those four tower blocks pretty soon. I noticed them when I was walking past Caledonia Road and I was thinking how bloody weird those tower blocks look because it's kind of a bit of perspective. You've got... I think it's like... It's like Annie's like court in a way because it's got base nets in the tower. And you've got one side that goes up this side and then every three floors you've got another one up there. So oh, shit, not my fucking QA, but as I was saying, right? You get a one close there with bottle flats going down and up, and then three floors up, you get another close at the other side. So the way the tower looks like, you get one set of close lights there, another one up there, another one, another three floors up, and it's weird, but it's it's brilliant. And I've got this. But I, yes, I will be doing those videos pretty soon. Model court. What shall 1489 asks, do you prefer newer blocks or older blocks? I want to answer this one in number one, but yes, I prefer older blocks. 
in a way, muir blocks are nice. If they're nicely modernised inside, that's good, but the cladding ruins it for me. As much as they look brilliant, they're flawed. And that answers that one there, so that's number six. The last one, number seven, Annie Thompson. What is the furthest you have travelled to explore a tower block? And the answer to that is Fountain Court in Penzance in England. Right, to give you a wee bit of perspective, Penzance is right on the very bottom of the UK, about you know, 600 miles away from here. The only place more southern than that is Land's End, which is only 8 miles down the road. As for Fountain Court, that is the most southerly tower block in the UK. And that's one of the ones that... How did I put this? When I first went to Penzance, I had no clue that there was a tower block there. But where I was staying for that week, I just came round here and just said, that's a bloody tower block there. And then the next day, I done the, the Fountain Court video. As you can see, that tower block is very small, but it's very tall compared to every other building in Cornwall. By Fountain Court in Penzance, about 600 miles down south. It's the most southerly place you can go by train. Like, you can't go any further south than Penzance. And for the coach, it takes about 21, 23 hours, it takes me. So that answers that one. Fountain Court in Penzance. Hope you guys enjoyed this little Q&A video. Next, next milestone for this one is 700 subscribers. I'm actually very surprised that I've got 662 or 63. Anyway, it's a wee bit more than 650 because I've gained quite a few subscribers since I mentioned that one. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy this. As for Mitchell Wayne here, as you can see where I'm in right now, they have started building the shops down that way. The old key store, partners here, and the farm foods are all gone. As for the flats, they're all still doing up. They're completely untouched, apart from the fact they're all stripped too. The clothes here is pretty immaculate. They've actually cleaned it up pretty well, because it used to be full of pigeon shite. And there we go, I've taken this light here. Mm -hmm. Anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed this little video. As for more future GT videos, there's another three sets of blocks in Mount Blow. Called Quebec House, Montreal House and Brunswick House. They are near enough completely empty. So I'll be covering them quite soon as well. Stay tuned for that, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. I guess see you guys later, so giggity, giggity.